welcome to HD Hyundai Heavy Industries in Ulsan. The Korean shipbuilder is giving Naval News an exclusive access to its impressive shipbuilding facilities. Just look how huge this shipyard is. Hi DK. Welcome on board, Mr. Xavier. Thank you so much for welcoming us to the Ulsan uh, shipyard. It's uh, very impressive. You are the campaign director for Canada and uh, Poland. Can you please first introduce uh, well the Ulsan shipyard to us? Uh, I'm very happy to introduce uh, our the world best shipyard, the HD Hyundai Ulsan shipyard, uh, which is established from the 1972 and our neighbor and special uh, surface unit is uh, 1976. The total area of this Ulsan air, uh, shipyard is over 6.8 square kilometers. DK, we are now standing by uh, the largest dry dock at the Ulsan shipyard. It is, uh, well, massive. It is also one of the largest dry dock in, in the world. What's the, the size approximately? Actually, the length of this dry dock is uh, over 603 meters and the wide of this is uh, over 100 meters. Uh, at the same time, the four baths uh, can be uh, manufactured and assembled in here, yes. Yeah, they are indeed currently four vessels uh, being built. What are they, uh, LNG maybe? Uh, yes, exactly. Include the LNG. Uh, almost all the no, commercial uh, vessels is available uh, working here. And these are quite uh, complex uh, vessels as well. Uh, DK, how many uh, workers are working at the Ulsan shipyard? Uh, almost 63,000 workers is working here as a member of HDHHI. It's a very big and huge amount of people. Uh, well, I can, as I can say, the, the shipyard is actually a town inside the town, given uh, how big it is and how many workers are building ships here at this facility. We are now in the part of the shipyard where uh, naval and special ships are being built. We have uh, the new KDX-3 Batch 2 destroyers behind us, as well as the new FFX Batch 3 frigate. And I am now meeting with uh, Mr. Song Shul Kim, Senior Vice President at HGHHI. Mr. Kim, good afternoon. Thank you so much for welcoming us. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> Can you please first tell us about your role at uh, HGHHI? Yeah, today I appreciate your visit in HHI. Uh, I'm a, my name is Hang Chel Kim. I'm a, the leader of production department of the HGHHI, Naval and Special Ship Business Unit. I manage and read a technical strategy and operation aspect and relate to the construction naval vessel. So basically you're in charge of both uh, shipbuilding programs, uh, Zhengzhou the Great Destroyer and uh, Changdam Frigate? Yes, correct. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Kim, may we get on board the new destroyer to take a closer look, please? Okay, let's go. <laughs> We are now standing on board the new destroyer, which AGHHI will very soon deliver to the ROC Navy. Mr. Kim, can you please introduce this vessel to us? Yeah, this ship we are currently standing right now is the uh, Zhengzhou the Great. The first is this destroyer, ROC Navy KDX-3 Batch 2 program. Uh, HDHHI is the sole shipyard responsible for the designing, construction, all three state-of-the-art Aegis destroyer. Equipped with the baseline 9 Charlie 2, it is combat system. So ship is capable of intercepting enemy ballistic uh, missiles during the, their high altitude the terminal phases. It also features enhanced detection and tracking performance with the spy one db radar, EOTS, IRST, as well as the uh, integrity sonar system that significantly boosts its uh, anti-submarine warfare capability. Mr. Kim, can you tell us more about the typical missions of this vessel and the weapon systems on board? Okay, uh, Jungle the Great class ship is equipped with uh, a variety of the weapon and sensor. 
making it the top tier example of the uh, multifunctional real-time and integrated weapon system. It's uh, not just a single ship, it's uh, more like a, a joint neighbor task force by itself. Weapon system include, including the BMD, AAW, ASUW, and ASW capability uh, perfectly integrated with the Aegis combat system, working together as one unified and organic team. Uh, this level of system integration made possibly by our shipyard advanced design scale really show up what we are capable of. Uh, Zhengzhou the Great Aegis Destroyer is a key naval asset within the maritime base maneuvering K3 system, which is they are, uh, including the kill chain and KAMD and KMPR. This system is a critical component of the South Korea strategic defense framework. The KDX-3 Batch 2 destroyers are based on the American Arleigh Burke class destroyers, uh, but they are actually uh, slightly longer and bigger, heavier in displacement. As we walked our way to the bridge, and we are now standing on the bridge rings, uh, I could witness how just massive these uh, surface combatants are. Uh, Mr. Kim, according to several media reports, uh, HDHHI in Korea can build these vessels at a faster pace and at a fraction of the cost compared to American shipyards. In your opinion, why is that? <laughs> yes, uh, some part of it is uh, correct, but uh, rather than comparing the, our capability uh, with those U.S. shipyards, I would emphasize the uh, our company has been developed a streamlined process that carefully break down and compress the all stages across the design and production. Uh, this process serves as the uh, powerful tool for effective managing tasks among our workmen and subcontractors. By integrating precision planning with the efficiently execution, we ensure the seamless collaboration and technical productivity throughout the entire uh, shipbuilding process. Uh, we are also the consistent to delivering the performance specific neighbor vessel on time, within budget, and meeting customer requirement. We are now standing directly on top of the bridge of uh, Zhengzhou the Great Destroyer with a nice view on the Phalanx closing weapon system, the Mark 41 VLS, the KVLS launching systems, and the Mark 41 main gun. Mr. Kim, my last question is about integrating uh, those uh, weapon systems because this vessel shows that HDHHI can integrate both U.S. weapon systems and Korean systems and sensors. How can you achieve this? Yes, uh, integrating Aegis Combat System we imported from uh, U.S. through the FMS case is one of the most complex and advanced technology in naval operation. Uh, it's not just about uh, installing the system. We need to connect it smoothly with the ship's uh, other weapon and sensor system, so uh, they so they work together as one unit. Uh, to tackle this challenge, we've been operating a dedicated team, the call ITT Integrated Test Team. Uh, since we started uh, building the first ship of the Aegis Destroyer Batch One, so this team specialized in combat system integration making sure everything runs smoothly from planning, installation, inspection, and testing to the final delivery. So thanks to their expertise, uh, we were able to uh, successfully implement this cutting edge system on our ship. This is a nice view on the ISM integrated sensor mast on board the new frigate uh, Chengnam. Let's follow Mr. Kim on board the new frigate. We are now on board the Future Rocks Changnam, the first of the FFX Batch 3 frigates. These vessels feature a high level of local content, such as uh, the sensor mast, which, has, which I have just uh, mentioned. Mr. Kim, what are the main specifications and features of this uh, class of new frigates? Yes, uh, ROKS Changnam is the first frigate of the FFX Batch 3 program. It's a impressive vessel with advanced uh, specification. 
Uh, it displacement is approximately 3,600 ton and measure 129 meter in length. Uh, compared to the Apex Batch 2, it boosted the enhanced survivability and combat capability through the significant upgrade. Uh, this ship is a 500 ton larger and with, with equipped with a cutting edge sensor, including the dom domestically developed uh, MFR, which is a multi-function laser, uh, which provided 360 degree coverage. Additionally, it features a 16 cell of the KVLS-1, a vertical launch system developed by our agency of the defense development. And Chungnam class is powered by uh, advanced hybrid propulsion system, which is a code level. Uh, delivering both uh, speed and fuel efficiency, uh, enable it to reach a maximum speed is over three knot, 30 knot. Uh, designed for multi-role mission, ROKS Chungnam excel in air defense, anti-submarine warfare, and surface combat, and meeting the complex demand of the modern uh, naval operation through advanced uh, hormone sonar and another sensor. Mr. Kim, would you agree that uh, the FFX Batch 3 represents the best that Korea has to offer in terms of next generation frigates? Yes, the, uh, the first frigate of the FFX Batch 3 Chungnam class is uh, represent the best Korean naval shipbuilding capability. Uh, it is the most advanced frigate in the history of the ROC Navy, incorporating a cutting edge technology and system. We look the leader in the basic design, ensuring that the vessel meeting all operational requirements. And furthermore, we are high level of the localization in its sensor and weapon system and other critical components. ROK and Chungnam class showcase our ability to uh, in the gen generously design and uh, build state-of-the-art worship that set a new standard of for the performance and uh, reliability. Lastly, Mr. Kim, in your opinion, what makes this class of uh, vessel unique? Yes, as you mentioned, the, uh, the ROKS Chungnam class is a standout for its full, fully Korean weapon and sensor shoot, which is a remarkable achievement. Uh, this includes a new development Korean ASA radar system, ISM, and a state-of-the-art the multi-function data that deliver uh, exceptional performance and situational awareness. Additionally, the Chungnam classes incorporate the domestically developed KVLS. The enhancing its combat capability is uh, significantly. Uh, it's a seamless integration of the cutting-edge system and its ability to handle a multi-law mission effectively and make it not only indigenously frigate, but also a testament of the uh, Korea growing expertise in naval innovation. We are now in a very restricted area of the shipyard dedicated to the production and maintenance of submarines. So we thank uh, HGHHI a lot for giving us this very exclusive access. Behind us is a submarine of the Rock Navy under maintenance. It's a submarine. Mr. Kim, what can you tell us about uh, the current uh, submarine activities for HDHHI? Yes, we are now here at the, uh, the depot level, the submarine maintenance working here. Behind us, the uh, class, one of the submarine. Uh, you know, the recently we are uh, successfully delivered 3,000 uh, the, the KSS batch one third ship and also we totally totally we are building the uh, over 15 submarine to successfully deliver to the customer and also we are trying to the nowadays the uh, the export to the uh, Poland project and Canadian project very recently I believe last week you signed an MOU with Peru to help uh, the Peruvian Navy with the design of a submarine Yes, the, uh, the couple of weeks ago, the, the 2024 APEC in Peru, then we are con 
signing of the uh, MOU for the uh, collaboration and developing for the submarine project with the Peru. Yes. So in addition to the surface ships, uh, AGHHI can uh, design and produce submarines for customers around the world and yeah. in Korea. Yeah, nowadays we are finished the, the AIP for the two uh, class society, the, 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 the HDS, the uh, 2,300 ton, and we also, we are good at the, uh, building the 3,000 ton and less than other ton of tonnage of the submarine. Yeah. Very well. Thank you very much. Thank you. This concludes our tour of uh, the HDHHI shipyard in Ulsan. Uh, regarding the future, uh, the Korean shipbuilder is also involved in upcoming projects such as the KDDX Next Generation Destroyer for the Rock Navy for which HDHHI was in charge of the basic design and will likely be in charge of the production of the first vessel. They are also, as most of you know, uh, they are involved in a renewal of the Philippine Navy fleet with uh, six OPVs and two large corvettes uh, upcoming. The two corvettes will be delivered uh, next year. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we did not receive the green light to uh, visit that vessel, the first of the corvette, the BRP uh, Miguel Malvar. I know many in our audience uh, from the Philippines were expecting coverage from us, but. Uh, I guess uh, we'll get an opportunity in the in the future, I hope. And uh, finally, uh, AGHHI is also involved in an important program in Peru because uh, last year uh, they signed an agreement uh, to produce uh, several new surface vessels for the Peruvian Navy and this is part of a transfer of a technology scheme because those vessels will be produced in Peru at a local shipyard, Sima uh, shipyard in Peru. Uh, so yeah, this is it. Uh, thanks again to uh, HHI for this very exclusive access. Uh, this was a great day, a very impressive facility. Uh, they claim they are the number one shipbuilding in the world and I can understand why uh, when you look at the very impressive facilities at the shipyard and uh, the vessels uh, we toured are just as impressive. Uh, yeah, very great stuff. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. Thank you very much.